guys welcome back so in today's video we are continuing on with more set week and today's video we are reacting to her live performance of love you still i have reacted to the music video from of love you still like ways ways back um i'll put it up here if you're curious um i also have a uh book of symbols that i took out and like picked apart the music video. I hadn't done that before for any video, but I just saw so much symbolism that I had to take out my book that I used in college and had to pick apart bits and pieces and, you know, explain what the symbolism could be behind it based on this book that I have. And it was, it was a lot of fun. And some of y'all were interested in me doing that again and, you know, using the book in other videos, but I just haven't done it because I haven't really reacted to any music videos. I've just been reacting to like live performances and stuff. In the event that I do react to more music videos, like uh, I do plan on reacting, I think she has a music video for Trophy, I think is what it was. Um, I'll have my, my, my symbols book out just in case I see something that I need to look up and cue in on. So, but this is just a live performance. I'm assuming it's in that same setup in, I guess, someone's living room. I'm not really sure. I probably know now uh, whose house this is because I've already uploaded a couple videos by the time this one goes up. I have been loving the videography. Um, so Dave, if you're the one who's doing all these videos, like if you're the one shooting these videos, you're super duper amazing and super talented. So no wonder you and Morissette make like this super power couple because between her, her vocal power and voice and music and your videos and stuff, y'all could both take over the world. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna jump into this reaction of Love You Still. I'm not sure what to expect because I haven't seen a live performance of it. I've just seen the music video and I've listened to the song, you know, obviously more than once because it's kind of heavy because uh, it's about her dad and kind of wonder how that whole situation's going. Like, are they talking yet? Are they still estranged? Like, I just, I don't know. That would really suck to, you know, not to just have to to just be cut out of your family in order to have to cut your family out due to whatever. We're not gonna talk about that. I just, you know, whatever Morissette decides to do, if her and her dad decide to reconcile, great. If it's better for her that they don't, you know, great. As long as she's happy is all I'm trying to say. So let's just jump into this reaction and and see how it, how it goes. simply shot it's just you know showing her the lighting is kind of dark and moody and 
the lighting's not like depressing or anything. It's just moody. You know, if you're gonna record a video of some sort, or even if you're gonna just record a song in general, it helps to create like a mood in the room. So, I mean, considering what this song's about, I would be more like if they had, you know, bright and happy lighting. So to have this kind of greenish blue hue light and making Morissette look like a mermaid, it makes more sense. You know, they have this kind of gloomy look to the video. That makes more sense than, you know, if they had, you know, some bright, happy colors and everything. Like in the other videos, like in, uh, Phoenix had a lot of bright, happy colors to it. So, I mean, if they had that lighting for this song, it would just look a little funny. So I'm glad that they changed the lighting for, for this song. Cause it just, it sets the mood and everything. And yeah, so back to it. pretty lows in this song. Her belts are just amazing. She has these growls. It's like her version of a rock ballad. It's awesome. this is one of those songs for her that the more she performs it the easier it gets there's songs that artists will you know record and put on an album but they never sing it live either because it's too hard or it was just you know a cathartic experience writing and recording it they have no intention on singing it live um, a good example of this is Christina Aguilera's I'm okay off of stripped uh, it's about if you're not a Christina fan or you just don't know this in general um, it's about, it's a song about her past with her father who allegedly, according to her and her mother and sister, was verbally and physically abusive. The song mentions things that he did to her and her mother and it's just really hard to hear if you've, if you haven't heard it before. There's a show on MTV called The Diary Of and they follow a celebrity around for like three or four days and they follow Christina around while she's, you know, recording Stripped and at one point you get to see her recording I'm Okay with Linda Perry from the Four Non Blondes and she ends up laying down on the ground and she ends up, you can hear, if you listen really closely to the song, like just the song by itself, you can actually hear her crying on the track. It's the saddest thing ever. The vocal that you're actually gonna hear on the record, I had a really hard time getting through. I was crying through it. There was an interview where she said that she never plans on singing it live unless it's for like, a, unless it's like for something special. And then in 2010, I believe, 
This was around the time Bionic was out. She did the VH1 Storytellers and she actually performed I'm Okay. And there's video of it on YouTube. Um, I actually have the DVD of the full show. It's really hard to find. <laughs> Someone has it in a Google Drive. Maybe I can find that link and I'll post it down in the description. But there's something that she does during that song and Oh Mother. And Oh Mother is the song she wrote on Back to Basics. That's a dedication to her mother for getting them out of that situation. But during both songs, when she's singing, you know, about the abuse, she grabs the back of her neck and she rocks back and forth. There's a part in the song I'm Okay where it says, when I was thrown against those stairs. And it made me wonder if he would like grab her by the back of the neck to throw her. Because she always grabs her neck and she holds on really tight and does like this. I'm not saying that Love You Still is on that level of trauma, but I mean, still to basically be completely estranged from your father for one reason or another, and the only way to get their attention is to write a song and hope that they hear it. Like, that's that's heavy. And then to sing it live, I don't know. I, I, I would need to see a video of her singing it live for the first time because that would tell me how hard it was for her then and then compare it to this performance and see if maybe it's gotten easier for her. Because a lot of artists will, you know, when they write about their own lives, they usually will say something along the lines of when they, while they're writing and recording, it's like a therapy session and then they go on tour and then they have to sing the song over and over and over again and it does get easier and by the time tour is over, they're like, okay. It's like, tour was like their therapy time and now they're fine. That's all that was going through my head whenever I was listening and watching that video. I was just wondering if it's hard for her to sing this song because it's just so, you know, it's so, it's a, it's so personal for her. So that got a little sad a little quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just wanting to share my thoughts, but I think I'm going to end this video here. So tomorrow's video is a feature Friday. I'm finally going to be reacting to Morissette with Christian Bautista singing the Heaven Medley. So yeah, my bad that it took me nearly a year to get to it, but we are finally here. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and occasionally have theme weeks, then please consider hitting that subscribe button right there. And and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!